Some time ago, I uh, I printed this uh, DL44 blaster on my uh, 3D printer. And uh, uh, as you imagine, you've got a lot of people saying, oh, could you, could you do one for me? And like an idiot, you always say, yeah, well, of course, yes, no problem whatsoever. Uh, don't mention the fact it takes about three weeks to do it, to print it, to trim it, paint it, whatever. Any road up, yes, so I did. And that's when the problem started. Because this one was very, very heavy on um, on supports. I figured there's got to be a way around this. So as you can see, um, we have here the support and the trigger in this particular instance was an absolute nightmare to free as were the little supports here in the um, in the grooves and the fins uh, these side panels they produced an enormous amount of um, of distortion on the side so all in all not very easy to print and um, it occurred that actually if you slice it down the middle and put the two halves flat against the, um, the the bed the support structures would mostly go away and certainly the major trigger problems would go away so with that in mind I decided to have a go using Fusion 360 so in Fusion 360 um, let's insert the, um, the 3D model that we're going to work on. So there are several ways to do it, but I just use the insert and insert a mesh. And in this case, we're going to insert this um, 3MF. It doesn't matter whether it's a 3MF or an STL, they work the same or an OBJ. So we say open. Okay, click on the center and move to ground uh, you'll probably find the model disappear but just click on the view and it'll bring it back okay what we've done is we've set the origin so it, it makes the the following maneuvers easier to do because it gives us the planes that we're going to work with okay so having done that we say okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to repair the body because yeah there may be bits that aren't quite right so we're going to mesh uh, we're going to prepare and click on repair select the body have stitch and remove ob selected which is default in my case and then okay so we now have an effective uh, body which we can work on uh, properly in fusion 360 okay so now we're going to cut it <coughs> and as you can see there are three planes here if I select the body, we have three planes, one, two, and three. And these are planes along which you can cut. We're going to cut it down the middle here because that makes the most sense. Okay. So by doing that, we'll split it into two equal halves, left and right. So in the modify, we're going to plane cut. This is cutting effectively along a plane. Okay, so the body is still selected. Okay, it shows there one selected. Now we're going to select the cut plane, and we can select either that plane, which will cut it uh, sort of along that line. This one cuts it along this line, and of course, that one would cut it along that line, but we'd have to move the origin up to make it work. And in fact, this is the way we're going to cut it. So we select here. Okay, so as you can see, we have that red circle shows where it's going to cut. If you don't get that, it's probably because you've got trim selected. Well, trim will just take off one of the other sides. So what we want is split body, okay? And then for fill type, we want uniform fill, okay? And that now gives us two bodies, two separate bodies. And what I like to do to make life a bit easier when we bring it into the uh, slicer program, I like to sit it flat um, on the side that we're going to cut. It's easier than sometimes with the, some of the programs. So we're going to do a move and we'll move it away from the other one 
to give us some room to work. And then we're going to rotate it. So grab the rotation hand and rotate it so that says 90 degrees. OK, and then say OK. Same with this one. I'm going to move. Just move it a little bit, not much, don't need too much. And then we rotate it. 90 degrees. OK. And we can drop it down a little bit as well. We don't have to do that though. OK. So now we have our two separate bodies which we can now export. And what I like to do is just use the simple export function here for 3D print. OK. So format. Uh, we can have STL. And make sure that you select the output. Let's bring that up here. To th send to three print utility or send it to a file. If we send it to a utility, it will go to Cura or whatever you've selected. I want to do it to a file. So let me say OK. And I'm going to call it, uh, this is what? This is the A side. And we'll do this one. Repeat 3D print. And we'll call this one the B side. It does give it a slightly different name, but that's not important. And those are they're exported now from Fusion 360. So all that remains now is to drop our bodies onto the build plate. And there we go. We slice those now. And go to preview. And you see, we actually have far less support, and especially around the trigger, which was totally blocked in previously. And now it's not. We still have a little bit of stuff around here which may need to be done, and there's some around the bottom there which may need to be done. But yeah, apart from that, it's a lot easier. And in fact, it cuts down on the time as well, because I think the first one was seven hours or something. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Uh, it certainly helped me because, you know, having to print lots of these things and then most of them fail, you can imagine how much uh, material you go through. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.